his last game against them was sensational with a number of hits and assists. Schmaltz delivered a number of hits and takeaways the last time he faced them. Two great stars, two teams that just don't like each other. All that is magic on the ice. Next. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. The Ducks win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. Shuts the door with a great save. Ingram's able to make that save look easy, James. It's because he gets to the top of his crease, he cuts down his angles, and then he can redirect it to safety. Slides it to Michelli. They go on the attack through center. Here's a centering pass. That's intercepted. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Shot! Denies him! He got all of it! And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Hey, get that personalized jersey you've always dreamed of wanting to. You finally saved enough money for it. Check out the team store just outside the arena. Open seven days a week. Dishes it off! Sends it in front! And that's intercepted! And a great save! There's a solid collision. And he sidesteps the check there. Here's a chance. Scores! Oh, that quick enough for you? That was quick. You want to dictate pace, especially when the puck drops. You put one in early, that's the best way to get it done. Well, he's definitely going to be disappointed that the shutout streak is going to come to an end, James. And anytime you got one going, you know that number. You want to continue to increase those minutes where you haven't allowed a goal. And Tonight it ends. Utah's been pushing hard here early in this first period, and look at that. Their hard work pays off with a goal. Now, there's so many mini-games within a game, James, and to start the period, you can look at it as one. And they have certainly dominated in that area, and that when you start the game like this, you dictate the pace, and that's exactly what they wanted to do, and send a strong message to their away opponent that when you come into our barn, you're not going to go to the W. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Intercepts the pass at center. Utah has been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Anaheim's been the busier team offensively, but they still trail here early in period one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Big time stop there. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. And he maintains possession of the puck here. The Ducks haven't been rewarded for all their scoring chances as they trail in the first. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. Here he is in close! The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Oh, he denies him on the one-timer! That's a mistake! Handles the puck at the corner. I just love watching the puck on his stick, James. It's like it's on his string. He just knows exactly where he's going to move his opponent to, and then he finds his way to the net. Well, and after that last goal, we're starting to see a recurring theme here with you-know-who. Well, yeah, I mean, he's a point-per-game player against this rival opponent, James, and every time he gets the puck, he just seems to make things happen. He plays with a new sense of urgency every time he's faced with his opponent. Quick shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. One of his greatest gifts is his speed, but he doesn't slow down when the puck is on his stick. That often happens to many players in the game, but not him. He creates his own openings, and he just can't bury it there. I mean, it's a nice save by the goaltender because he's such a threat. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Utah's looking to break out of their own end. Anaheim's got control of it now here in the offensive end. 
shuts him down. More than half the period left to play. We are all tied up in this one. Utah's taking possession in their own end. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Handles that one. Puck scooped up by Cole. Passes on over to Kesselring. Quick pass to Keller. Puck picked up by Silverberg. There's a collision with some authority. Takes the pass. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Utah's got a hold of the puck now. Takes the feed from his own end. Fast and quick lead pass. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. More than half the period has expired. It's all tied up. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Passes it over to Nash. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Fugue stands called for tripping. He's off to the box. And their first chance to use the man advantage. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Oh, the intensity start to ramp up on this one. And the crowd's loving it after that hit because guess who got rocked? Well, they had to be expecting that hit after injuring their player last game, James. I mean, everyone was expecting it in, in terms of the crowd and, of course, the team. That was retribution. Faceoff dot ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And they win the draw in the offensive zone and they go to work. Takes the feet at the back end. Makes the save. Cole and Cole under pressure. Beats over. Utah's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Great burst of speed to come up with it. Michael stick handling in his own zone. Utah's ready to go on the attack. Huge steal in his own end. Skates to the crease. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make it's the save. Our situation critical and clutch. Well, they take advantage of the player advantage here, James. I love that it's not static. There's a ton of motion. They decide not just to stay on the perimeter. They attack, and they're rewarded for their efforts. Well, they say practice makes perfect, James, and he's executing in the game because of it. I mean, look at the way he can move in tight spaces. He's got hands that can just dangle, and when he finds the back of the net, his opponent's just kind of looking at him. There it goes again. Finding another level here in the back half of the first, now up by one. Well, they're playing their brand of hockey, aren't they, James? I mean, they've been so competitive, and it would look like this is a pretty tight game, but it's not when you look at the shot selection and the shot share. They have just dominated in terms of having the majority of shots on net. Gets in front of it. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Past the midway mark in this period. The Ducks are looking to build on this one-goal lead. And they'll start with possession. Utah's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a short pass to Gunther. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. And now he moves it quickly to Faber. They've got numbers. Good defense. 
defensive effort to poke it away. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And he keeps possession. Moves it quickly over to Tippett. And he slides it quickly to Richards. Back at the point, they set it up. Turned aside with the club by Ingram. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Ducks lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Anaheim's won the draw and they'll go to work. And a great scene! Ingram's gonna hang on for a whistle. The Ducks lead it here late in this first period. Michaels won the draw and they'll look to set up. We're gonna face off after the puck stays covered up. Officials are set, players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Michaels won the draw here in the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Poked away at center ice. Receives the pass. Now a quick pass to champion. Big time stop there. Utah's got a hold of the puck. The Ducks played along the boards. Puck grab by Jersey. Into the attacking area from the left side. Slides it across. And that one stopped. Draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Anaheim's got the puck. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Scrum along the wall. Slides it quickly to power. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Utah's looking to break out. Works it across to Falamaki. And he takes the dish. Plays the puck into that play. Grabs it in his own end. Here we go, odd man rush. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Drives it and rips it. Scores! Well, I guess they weren't saved by the bell there. Uh, how's that for momentum? In the last seconds of the frame, you find a way to put it in, and that's going to create a ton of momentum. So now, heading into the next period, you want to garner that momentum and carry it forward. Well, two things need to happen to execute a one-timer perfectly. You have to have the pass and you have to have the time. You can't be over-anxious. That's the first thing. And second thing, you can't over-rotate. He's perfect with both and he finds the back of the net. You kind of see the goats behind the bench frustrated saying, what gives here? You're playing a rival. They beat you last time and you're now down in this game, you gotta find a way to have some pride and get back at it. The Ducks have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Richards wins the draw. Moves it to Silverberg. Moves it around along the half wall. Pass back to the point. Scores! And they beat the buzzer and get one late here in the period. They always say, James, that to start a period finish periods at critical times and they get one here they go to the dressing room with a lot of momentum to generate a lot of offense going into this one. They have succeeded in that game plan already here late in the first. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Thus far, let's see if anything 
changes here with the start of the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Utah has been running around and chasing the game with very disorganized out there, not aggressive, and giving their opponent way too much time with the puck. Anaheim's offense has come to play in a big way as they've dominated both the shots and goal category. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Feeds it to champion. Cuts into the paint. Big time stop. Ingram's been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck, square to it, and makes the save. Shot! And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Quick feed to Jersey. Takes the pass from the left wing. The Ducks have it against the wall. Back to the blue line. Still keeps a hold of it. Here's the pass in front. And that's stopped. The Ducks have it now. And that pass is redirected. On the left side, takes it to center. Takes the return feed. Utah's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to Gunther. And now he tries to get it across to Bustad. And just a good old fashioned solid body check on the play. Tries to get the puck over to Faber. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Quick pass to Silverberg. Utah's got the puck. Moves it over to Bustad. Gets the puck in deep. The Ducks have it now. Anaheim's in now. Gives him a trade with that hit. And it's a quick pass to Bugstad. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. They've got numbers here. Quick shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Perfect won the faceoff. Slides the puck to McBain. He knows he's only oh, he got him. hammered, and look at this. He's, he's on his own bench. Well, at least you can take your time getting up when it's your own bench, James. Yeah, let's go. I'd be way happier landing on this one than the opposition. The Ducks continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Offense is on face off and wins the draw. Comes up with the block. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Taken along the wall by Kesselring. Quick pass across to Cole. Tip goes around the puck check. Blocked in traffic. Kirkconi's taking the puck behind the net. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. Plays the puck up ahead. Utah's looking to break out of their own end. Oh, nowhere to go, but it gets the wall. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. The Ducks cross the line and gain the zone. Scrum along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Michelli. Feeds the puck across to Dursey. Poked away by Niskanen. Puck moved over to Darlene. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Oh, just a great heads up play by Michelli. Sends it over to Keller. Passes it over. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. The Ducks lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Handles the puck. Inside the offensive zone. Oh, I 
a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle, and it dies on his stick. Here in the back half of this period, it's a 4-1 game. The Ducks win the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. Anaheim's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. The Ducks win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Tender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. And they take possession here in the offensive zone in time to go on the attack. Angles it over to Stenland. Drills him. Oh, look at this. Oh, what a save with the glove by Fedotov. Possession here in their own end. Johns moves it into the attacking end. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Anaheim's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Michaels won the broad center. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up and loses possession after a solid hit. Here's a short pass to Kesselring. And now he moves it quickly to Gunther. Sends a pass over. Keeps a hold of the puck. Sends it in on the attack. And that's just out of reach. Floats the saucer pass. Utah's got the puck in their own end. They gain the zone from the left side. The Ducks have it now. Looking for space inside the D zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. Takes the feed. And that goes off. The club play continues here. Sergachev's lugging the puck. Tosses it on to Gunther. Grabs the puck at center. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Slides the puck across to Dursey. Feeds it over to Bugstad. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Grabbed along the board by Fever. The Ducks take it along the wing. Fires it on net with the stop. Slides it diagonally to Niskanen. And he slides it quickly to Richards. Oh, a true warrior to block that. Big stop right there. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The Ducks have just absolutely dominated here. Look at the scoreboard. They've dominated in shots as well here late in the second. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period. Don't go anywhere. Forty minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third to see if anything changes. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Ducks have built themselves a healthy lead through two periods, and now it's about bringing it home, James. And in order to do that, you need to manage the puck, keep it simple, and make smart decisions with it.
Great pass from off the right side. Picks up the puck in his own end. And now he angles it across to Matelli. And that's picked off by Johns. Puts it on net. Oh, and a great save by Ingram. Takes the shot. Oh, wow, stops the game. Puts another on the net. Good save. All oh, quick reflexes on the play. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. The Ducks have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. Richards takes possession right off the draw. Hammers the shot. Log jamming. Fun that's broken up. Dishes it off. Great save from in tight. Well, goaltender has to be able to anticipate the play, and he does just that. Gets square to the shooter in the low slot and makes the save. The Ducks have been active all night in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this third. Drive. A nice job locking up his opponent. Handles the pass. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Oh, Smart has a play to put that one away. Ingram's got the puck and he's going to hang on. We're still in the early stages of this period. Anaheim's been the better team and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Grabs the puck. Quick shot. Oh, nice stop with the glove by Ingram. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. Richards won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Utah's got it against the boards. There's a shot. The glove. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Ducks win the draw. Silverberg's got it in the defensive end. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving, holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Still has possession. Moves it to the offensive zone. Quick feed down low. Wow, this is great. He closes quickly, and you can hear the boards reverberate, James. This is a huge hit. Michael's got the puck in his own zone. Quick possession along the wall. Big save by the goal kicker. Utah's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Fires it, James. and is able to handle that one. Picked up along the boards by John. And that's knocked away by Niskanen. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Sharp handle shot. Cole's taking it from his own end. Utah's got it along the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denied by Fedotov. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Anaheim's been way more active here tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. The Ducks gain possession, and the puck's not loose. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Inching towards 
Rochelle has been the mark of this period. Anaheim's got a 5-1 lead. They've been on cruise control all night. And he takes the pass. Who's the puck? And that's blocked. Utah's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Moves it quickly over to Keller. Redirected off one of his own line mates there. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Bufflin's moving the puck through his own zone. Feeds it over. Blocked in front. Now a quick pass to Gunther. And he slides it quickly to Bugstad. Takes the shot. Oh, to Mysum with the paddle save. Anaheim's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The Ducks come up with the defensive zone draw. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Kevin's going to play it from behind the net. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Bufflin's picking up steam. Takes a bump, but hangs on to the puck. Anaheim's ahead in this game because of the projection of that second line. And this is a nice luxury to have when you've got depth on your bench. You can look down it and really creates an internal competition for the ice time. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Palamaki. Back crash with the puck but maintains possession. And now it's grabbed by Silverberg. It's taken by Faber. Steps inside. Takes himself free. Grabs the puck. Sends it down low. Tippett's exploring options with the puck. Valamaki stick handling in his own zone. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Good battle along the boards for the puck. And a heads up kick pass over to his teammate. Stenland's got it along the boards. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the sense. Faber's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Our first look tonight at the power play unit. Well, a huge opportunity for this team to get their first power play opportunity. And who comes out? Their top unit to ignite them, give them a spark in this game, trying to get back on the board. Didn't get all of it, but just got enough of it with the tracker. Dished on over to Keller. Oh, that goes just wide of the net. I think he had more time than he thought here, James, with the pressure coming in on him. He just releases the puck quick, and he misses wide. Sends it into the offensive zone. Tries to feed it over to Schmaltz. He says, let's get physical on that play. Now, we saw the hit, James. We know how hard it was, so it's not surprising to see that he is laboring, really struggling to get back to the bench. Slides it across. Denies him. Down a player and certainly feeling the heat right now. With this kind of pressure on a PK, you have to be real hard on your stick and make sure you get the clear. All the young goaltenders out there, work on your skating. That's a push that saves a goal. Oh, James, he took a huge hit there. We'll have to have another look at that one, but looks like he's having a hard time getting up. the bench and is heading down the tunnel here with a lower body injury it seems to be as he's hopping on one leg James and this is a tough blow everyone on the bench is silent as he makes his way down the tunnel yeah totally looked like the leg got caught there and he is in major pain as he heads for medical attention here in the room and we'll keep you posted if we can get an update later on as the game unfolds Anaheim's won the defensive zone draw 
Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Johns takes the puck. Utah's gained possession along the boards. Pass the feed. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Making his presence felt with a hit. And they get the puck out. Utah's got it into the offensive zone. Into the corner of the attacking area. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Pass to Keller. Babers almost ready to get back on the ice. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Power plays dictate games and this one did not. And the coach will not be happy with the setup or the opportunity that this unit gave them. Move the puck down low. To take. Takes the feed at the point. Off a stick. Oh, nice use of the boards with the paint pass. Rocked him in the open ice. And batting down the hatches. Here we go. Well, Simeon is injured and he's stepping in to defend him. He didn't like it at all. Thinks it's dirty play. And ring the bell, it's over. Well, that was just a perfectly executed final punch, James. The Ducks find a way to send a clear message with that fight. They say, we're not going to be pushed around. We're tough, we're physical, and we're not going anywhere. Action set to resume here after what was a wild couple of minutes on the ice there. The Ducks win the faceoff at center. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Play rolls on. Pacioretty's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And he takes the feed. Here's a shot. Oh, and he reaches out with the glove save. Wow. The Stars travel into town next here on this homestand. And be curious to see how this team responds in one of the more vocal buildings in the league. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Sends it in front! What a chance, but they can't connect! Works it across to Silverberg. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Marino. And that'll do it for ringside here. Well, I think it's safe to say after this one, they are on a losing skid right now. Yeah, they really are, and they're so frustrated. You can sense it. I mean, for stretches within the game, you thought like they were going to make it happen, and then just some costly mistakes, turnovers, not managing the puck in key areas, and it winds up in the back of their net. They're going to have to find a way to, to really gravitate towards something positive here, James, and try and get out of their own heads. Hope you had as much fun as we did here tonight, and we will see you the next time. At least we hope so. From all of us here at EA Sports, take care, everyone.